Hello, I'm Margaret Munoz with a little tip for you about tapping in the morning. Now, you can imagine that during 20 years of tapping, I've tried lots of different ways of tapping and various practices for tapping in the mornings, including with affirmations. But I've been trying out a suggestion that I got from EFT practitioner Jean Montarelli, which is very simple and I love it. Set your clock for 10 minutes and start tapping around. No words, no setup statements, no deciding what you're going to tap on, no thinking about what issues may be present or surfacing, just tapping around. You can do the, the you can tap around the ordinary way. I often do when I'm tapping myself, I do a wrist point. Uh, you can do the finger points, the gamma point, use, use both hands, whatever you want to do. Then notice what happens. I usually start to, to yawn as the energy begins to shift. Thoughts arise, keep tapping. Emotions arise, keep tapping. Though you may find there is something in particular that shows up that you might want to jot down and do some more specific in-depth tapping uh, later on. Or you might not. A lot of stuff can surface in the unconscious as we process things during the night as we sleep or try to sleep as a gate maybe. And tapping in this way can wipe the slate clean, uh, as it were, so that you can go into your day feeling more grounded, balanced, calm. Who doesn't want that? Now, when I tap for myself, I tend to close my eyes. And the first time I did this, I opened my eyes and went, oh, that was 20 minutes because uh, I didn't set an alarm. Sometimes I open my eyes at eight minutes and feel that's done. So it's, it's whatever suits. Doing 10 minutes of very simple tapping in the morning is a really great way of getting tapping into your day. Um, I also meditate, so I do that after I tap. Um, and that also makes it easier to, to meditate because I'm all already in a sort of calmer state. Give it a try. Let me know how you go. Comment below. Drop me a line. Uh, I always love to hear about people's experiences with chapping. And I always read and respond. So I look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye.